Five thirty-four this morning. Recent CDC data shows one in 45 adults in the U.S. are diagnosed with autism. For children, that number is even higher, being one in 36. Now, the challenge with these stats is to tie to the likelihood for adults with special needs gaining employment. Against Five's Earl Stoudemire explains how this nonprofit Eagles Flight Advocacy, Advocacy Center is working, uh, Earl, really to try to bridge that gap. Good morning, Barry, Sarah. Eagles Flight Advocacy Center opened the nest this week to support adults with special needs with job skill training and socialization to be a part of the community. Now, NEST is short for Nurture, Empower, Share, and Transform. It can serve 40 adults with special needs. The NEST first creates a flight plan to learn each person's interests and what they would like to have. The adults then develop skills through sensory activities at the NEST. They also get to volunteer and gain vocational skills and on-the-job training through community partnerships. Pamela Lee is the CEO of the organization. She says they created the program, seeing a high need for it in our area. We have so many young people, 80% of our special needs population, 18 and over, 80% of them are unemployed and don't have much, many outlets here in our city. We want them to be contributing members of, of our community. The Nest has a game room, music room, computer lab, sensory room, and community area where the students can develop their skills. To offer different experiences, Eagles Flight also partners with food pantries, community closets, and animal organizations, among other associations and groups. Now the Nest has a staff of five and they're able to serve up to 40 special needs students. For more information and going to their location, they're located off of Blanco Road in the Courtyard Business Center. Reporting live, Earl Sotomayor, Ken's Five. Great work. More resources, Earl. Thank you.